Ah, Vincent, you're awake. Good. Close the door, will you? Now, now, don't struggle. You're perfectly safe, as you are. I was alerted to an issue in matters of conversion. And as you know, it's in both our interests to have it resolved. You have so many questions, Vincent. I fully punish that out of existence. But seeing as you will die at the hands of my game, I suppose I can play yours for a moment. The artist, whose torturous sufferings imbue his fertile mind with fruit, has always been too tedious a creature to reason with. They speak a different language to that of this world, one of fairies and clouded monoliths. The plight of our forebearers was one of translation, to await ingenious revelation, then proceed with monetary exploitation, but all in all far too inefficient. You seem not to be understanding me so clearly, Vincent. We can monopolize creativity from within. They enforce the heavy tax on the fruit leaving for market. We are seizing ownership of it before it even sprouts from the ground. And the more torturous the suffering, the sweeter the fruit. People do not seek happiness, Vincent. They seek to see themselves as useful. We are simply fulfilling that desire. An artist is doomed to suffer with an exotic volatility unique to him alone, either strangled by the umbilical they sever in conforming or crushed by society in yielding to their nature. We simply oversee the depletion of such resources, a modern utilitarianism where no man will take what he imagines to the grave. <sighs> Behind every nihilist is an optimist, Vincent. People always forget that. A man who so strongly yearns for the joy of life that upon being crushed continually seeks to inflict pain for its own sake. Our predecessors paved the way for this. They mangled the language of which free thinkers defended the truth. They asserted the value of victimhood, worshipped group identity. A virtuous mask worn by evil. Masterful, really. The argument of Orwell and Huxley were strong, of course they were, but the herd is always stronger. That is what we've been trying to educate you about, Vincent. But again and again you resist. There's something of the old world still within you. But we'll purge it out of you tonight. Don't worry. Send him to room 604.